Hello, 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 and welcome again. Tips for your voice. We're going to talk about chest voice and mix. I've got a lot of notes here. So it's about this transition that happens right as you're ascending on the keyboard and you're singing your exercises or you're going up to a note and all of a sudden there's that break area, there's that transition. So with females, a lot of times it ah, goes up like that and you go, oh my gosh, that's strange. And I'm, I'm going to talk about four different types of singers. Make sure that I uh, hit everybody the belters, head voice only, chest and falsetto. Okay, I'm going to give a description and then I'm going to go over uh, some exercises. We're going to do this in several parts. So this is number one of three, I believe. Okay, all right, belters, ladies first. So belters don't like head voice. They don't like, ah, they think it's wimpy. At least I did. I belted everything out and I thought, eh, I don't like that. I couldn't sing. I'd be, ah, sing just up to there now. So I, I sing really high now. I'm not going to sing up there when I actually sing songs, but my voice is extended because I got a little smarter, you know? Now, the second one is head voice. Oh, and with the belters, usually you're not going to go up in high notes. You're going to go up to a certain extent and then it's going to be so difficult because you're doing full blast of chest voice. Head voice only people. And usually they don't sing chest voice or they have very, very little of a chest voice coming in. And when they think they're doing chest voice, they're really pushing head voice or they're mixing. And this is big with Disney sound, with the, all this, the, it, this is popular now. Belters were more popular before. Now you've got this uh, other sound that is really popular. And, and a lot of times in Broadway too, the singers are doing that. So the chest voice needs to be brought in more. So you have the complete opposite. Belders, you need to bring in the highs in order to get higher notes. And with the head voice only people, you need to have a little bit more body come in and that's gonna get that fullness. I'll explain that. And now the men, chest only. So again, you're only going to be doing up to a certain point and falsetto is really hard to get in there. It's hard to get high notes. And then you have the, the guys that do the falsetto and they are great with up, going up high, but the body is mixing, is missing. So you have four different types. And now I just want to explain why you need both, why you need to really strengthen. And in order to get you know, the low notes and make them really sound great and the high notes sound great and integrate all of that so you have a balance in your, in your sound and you sound really the best. So, one with chest. Yeah! Okay, it's really strong. <clears throat> and the mix. Yeah! Hear it? So here. But here is, <clears throat> and I've got phlegm going. Hey, go! Kids in the schoolyard. Okay, that's kids in the schoolyard. Give me my ball! This is mixing. It's head voice mostly and chest voice mixed in there. The chest voice gives the fullness, the body, the bottom to the voice, and the head voice gives the brightness, the brilliance, the height to the voice. So that's why you want both sets. And when you come into that one area, on men it's a little bit lower. Yeah! Right there, you're going to start mixing a little bit lower. So if you're doing an exercise and coming up, you've got to lighten earlier. Both, male and female, you have to start lightening a lot earlier. And let me see. I gave the aspects. There you go. Ah, yes. So it might be a little bit lighter than you'd like and that you hear. So as you go up, 
don't think of getting darker, get brighter, because that's the aspect of the head voice and the falsetto. Um, when you're doing uh, the mix, you start high on your exercises. Don't start low coming up, because it's harder to do that way. Start high. So if you go, yeah. Here I'm coming into my mix. Yeah! See how there's a dip here? Yeah! Yeah! There's chest. Yeah! 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 Now men, <clears throat> right in here. Yeah! Keep it bright. pretty secure right there but as you're ascending it's going to be harder to do that yeah brighter uh, yeah 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 brighten up gentlemen you're having a hard time here or you're not Now, I, my, my voice is going to go, okay, which one do you want? Because my chest voice is so big. Yeah. Hear the difference. Yeah. Yeah. It's a little thinner. Yeah. 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 And I'm thinking really bright. I'm thinking up here. Sound coming out. At all times, I'm thinking sound coming up here. Okay, nasopharyngeal area. Let's start here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mix. Yeah. It's starting to get stronger. Yeah, because my head voice is taking over. Okay, so now if you're in chest voice and you're not used to doing this, remember it's like kids in a schoolyard. If you are a belter, it's kids in a schoolyard. But the belters, you're going to have to get used to strengthening that head voice. So you've got to think, maybe not real high, Start strengthening that head voice. Especially down here. Because this is the whole area. And gentlemen, when you um, have your chest voice and you're not used to doing falsetto, do it as light as possible. <clears throat> Lower. Oh, just do three notes. Oh, oh, oh. And your chest voice will want to come in and, 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 and it'll feel weird. But remember, you've got to get as light as possible. There's no forcing. There's no forcing at all. With belters and chest voice, you don't force. It's really, really light. You've got to strengthen that area. Now, with the opposite, with those who are used to doing falsetto a lot, you've got to do lower notes. And remember that you must get a nice, strong low note. Bring it up as high as comfortable. Down here. nice tones don't hold back don't transition bring it up fairly high and back down again okay and now the head voice ladies so you're up here yeah but an easier
easier way to do it would be like this. Yay! How about up here? Yay! And my singing for a lifetime, all of us were, were like this, looking crazy. But notice how I lifted the rib cage by doing this. I came out and now I'm open right down here and I'm able <clears throat> Yay! I'm able to hit those notes. Remember again, you want it high off the roof, okay? Yay! Yay! Whoopee! Yay! Notice I didn't back down, I didn't do, I didn't do. Yeah! See how thin I am there? So I have a big dip in that area. I don't worry about it though. I adjust with how I do my songs. So gentlemen, you, if you are falsetto, remember again, you want to do some nice low tones to bring in that bottom in your voice. You're going to round your sound ice off. Okay, so this is the first one. I'm going to do more, okay? Remember, no matter what your sound is, you've got to balance it out. Okay, so if you have a brightness, a real heavy brightness, work on the bottom. If you have a big bottom and you don't have the top, that's what I needed. I needed to work a lot on my head voice, my falsetto, um, and uh, not my falsetto, my head voice, and in order to get that mix, in order to get, yeah, to get those notes that I needed to get higher when I was doing uh, songs, all right, so I know this is going to be helpful for you. And there was one person who would ask me for this. So um, stay tuned. I have another one coming next week. We're going to go over this again. We're going to go a little bit more in depth. All right, you have a great, what, singing day, right? Okay. Oh, such a day, yeah. Such a matter of day, yeah, yeah. Bye-bye.